Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today we're going to take a look at removing skin blemishes, minor skin blemishes that is, and we're mainly going to be focusing on softening skin and selective sharpening, um, in particular with people. So here we go, I have softened her skin here and we've applied some sharpening to her eyes and you can see that this is what the image looks like. Here's the before and here's the after. So we've done a little bit of work here. Let's take a look at how exactly we can do this. I've got this image here, which is basically before all of that work's been done. And the first thing that I want to do is just duplicate that layer, Commander Control J. I always like to do this so I have an immediate backup copy that I can you know, jump back to. You know, If I mess this one up, just go right back to this original. So what I first want to do is just grab the spot healing brush. And the spot healing brush is super easy to use. Basically, I'm just going to zoom in on the face. I'm going to look for little imperfections in the skin and just click on them and it takes them away. If you start to have strange effects happening, uh, usually that just means your brush is a little too big and you're picking up some edge detail like here. You're going to see it sort of leaves that weird stripe or if I come too close to the edge of the eye, it really starts to make it look very bad. So you might just want to size it down like for right here because there's that shadow line. I'm just going to size it down a little bit. And there we go. I'm just coming through here and just getting rid of some of the blemishes on her face. There we go. Oop. So just come around the face and just begin removing all the blemishes you can find. Well, you can see that's too big to be that close to that edge. All right, and that looks like it's about good for now. There might be a few small blemishes, but we're not going to be too, too super worried about them. If you were doing this uh, as your own project, obviously you want to go over it very carefully. Next, we're going to apply a surface blur to this image and use a mask to make sure that we only have it applied to her skin. So I'm going to duplicate this layer. I'm going to shut off the background layer just so that doesn't really kind of distract us back there. And what I'm going to do is go up here to Filter, Blur, and choose Surface Blur. Now, Surface Blur is great um, because it's a very nice blur. And you can see it just sort of really flattens out the skin, yet it doesn't really give us a harsh effect over the eyes. But we really don't have to be worried about that. We're just focusing on the skin. I want to come in here and raise the threshold to about 100. And I want to select my radius and raise that to maybe 4 or 5. Uh, let me try 5. Yeah, let's go with 5. And I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to apply that surface blur. And there we have it. So the next thing I want to do is hold down my Alt or Option key and select the layer mask icon. That gives us that pre-filled black layer mask, essentially getting rid of the smart blur. So what I need to do now is grab my brush tool and grab a decent sized brush, maybe something like a 21, 24, let's go 45. Yeah, 45 should be good. As soft as you can get it. And we're going to really drag the flow down to maybe you know between 25 and 30. And we're going to be painting with white. Make sure that's your foreground color. All right, here's where it's really helpful to have a tablet. Basically, you just want to come in here and you just want to start painting over areas of her skin. Again, remember, if this effect starts to look too harsh, we can always come in here and back it off with the opacity because we have it uh, in its own, or on, excuse me, its own layer. So just come right through here and start painting over her skin. You can see it's really softening it up a little more so than I want to. I don't want to go for a fake look. I want it to be a realistic look. I just want to really smooth out um, any kind of imperfections that you would notice. So we're just going to come through here, really smooth all of this out. Again, just focusing on the face here. So there we go. And right there along that edge of that hairline, I'm going to downsize my brush a little bit. There we go. And what I can do now is select her and, well, select the surface blur layer, that is, and just back the opacity off just a little bit. Just so it starts to look pretty realistic. So there's before and there's after. So we backed it off to about 50%. Next thing I want to do is create a mask that's basically going to select the majority of her skin on her face. So I'm going to hop over into quick mask mode. I'm going to select this icon right here, quick mask mode. It's fine, we can paint with black. Grab a decent sized brush. Okay, I'm bumping up to about a 50. And I'm going to reduce my flow to about 20. 
and I'm just gonna start painting over areas of her skin that I like. And this can be very rough. You don't have to worry about this being, you know, super uh, tight to the edges or anything like that. We just really wanna come in here and get a rough selection. The way the quick mask mode works is all of this red stuff is going to be selected. Uh, and because we're using a brush which has a flow of 18, we're actually gonna get different levels of opacity selected, which is fine. It all works toward uh, what we want to do here in the end. So we're just gonna paint over everything here. Grab all this skin. Okay, that looks about right. Let me grab a little bit more on this cheek. There we go. Now that we have all of this uh, painted red, and actually, I just noticed this little area right here at the bottom of the nose. Now that we have all this painted red, we can hop out of quick mask mode. You're going to see it's going to give us a selection over this entire area. And you can see I missed this area here and that area. So I'm going to hop back into quick mask mode real quick and just throw a little bit more over those areas in an attempt to get them. Hop out of quick mask mode. All right, this is good enough. And remember, this is not a hard edge at all. So this isn't gonna be the exact edge or anything. We don't have to be worried about that. I'm gonna come back to the original layer. Whoop, I'm gonna hit okay for layer style there. I'm gonna come back to the original surface blur layer here, and I'm just gonna hit Command or Control J to copy this selection and pop it up onto its own layer. Um, and we actually have, because we painted in black, the quick mask selected everything but that red. So we just wanna invert the selection. Control or Command Shift I. There we go. And move over here and again command or control J to pop that up onto its own layer you can see now we just have the very faint outline of the face but it's enough to do what we need to do the first thing I want to do well up the opacity 100 you can see now we can see it a little bit better the first thing that I do want to do is desaturate this so that'd be control shift or command shift U will automatically desaturate it a little creepy looking right now but don't worry what I want to do is come up here to blend modes, make sure I've got my opacity at 100, and set this to soft light. Okay, so you can see what we've just done. We've just really helped start smoothing our skin out a lot. I want to duplicate this layer, Command or Control J, and I want to set this to overlay. So now the effect has become very strong, maybe a little stronger than I would have liked. She's starting to look a little creepy, borderline creepy, or maybe a little beyond borderline creepy. So I want to reduce the opacity of soft light here to maybe something around 60, and also op the overlay. We really want to push that layer down a lot. Maybe once we see what that looks like with overlay down, push the soft light layer up a little more. I still want to reduce the opacity of the overlay until it stops making her look like she's got a big vein sticking out of her forehead. There we go. You can see there's without those extra skin smoothening layers and there is with them. So basically we've just taken our quick mask selection and grabbed parts of her face and because we've desaturated them it's not going to make the colors, you know, come punching out and super bright and we've just used them to, you know, really help smooth it out and do a little bit of contrast uh, enhancement as well. So now the only thing left to do is duplicate this original layer Command control J, and we're going to this, drag this guy all the way up to the top. And because we just did that, it looks like we got rid of everything we just did, but we didn't. It's just sitting underneath that layer. We want to sharpen this layer in a pretty extreme fashion. So we're going to go sharpen, smart sharpen. And something about maybe 120 with a radius of 2. By the way, for those of you that have not used Smart Sharpen before, or those of you that do use it and aren't, aren't quite sure how it works, it basically works like this. The amount percentage, the amount percentage is the amount of sharpening that gets placed on your image. And the radius, you can think of that as the limiter. The higher the radius, the more severely your image is going to start to become impacted by that sharpening. So a radius of one, maybe about two, you can see it really makes our image look very sharp. I want to back it off to about one. We're going to hit OK. Now, I only want the sharpening on maybe the teeth, the, the parts of the nose, and the eyes, and maybe a little bit along the jawline. So I'm going to hit Alt, or hold my Alt or Option key, and select the layer mask to cover up all that sharpening. Grab my brush, get a very soft brush, maybe about 18 pixels. Well, let's go up to 24. That looks good. And again, the flow in between 10 and 20. We're painting with white. Make sure you've got that layer mask selected, and just come over, paint over the eyes. You don't want to make this effect too strong because, again, we over-sharpened 
because what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to back it off a little bit, you know, just back the opacity off. The teeth, I'm just going to brush along the edge of the jawline with a larger brush. And maybe come here on the front of the nose just a little bit. Okay, yeah, there's a little bit too much right there on that edge of the nose. And you can see if I alt-click the mask, there is what we have painted. And it is a little strong for my liking, so I'm just going to back it off just a tad. Maybe bring it back to about 70. So there we go. There's our finished image. We have taken her and here's what she looked like when we started. We've softened the skin and we've sharpened up the eyes and other parts of the face. So there's a little bit on selective sharpening as well. There's how I smooth out skin. Uh, this is obviously a very quick uh, tutorial right through it. So you may want to spend a little bit more time fine tuning it on your own. But that's how I do it, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something. Thank you very much for watching, and please go check out the site. It's www.tutvid.com.